Is J.J. McCarthy now a first-round quarterback prospect? What say you to that question? I think it's borderline. I would say probably not right now. And I, I, he's in my top 25 barely field. I don't know if we'll be there after this week. I'm going to go back to that game last night where he had the hot start. And again, you keep waiting for that wow performance. And guess what? You just didn't get it with J.J. McCarthy. And he hadn't gotten it during his career. I look at the numbers, okay? 25 or fewer pass attempts in 10 games yeah. this year. Think about not throwing interceptions. Last 12 games, he threw one pick. That was late in the first half against Maryland, which was a costly pick. We all remember the three picks against Bowling Green early this year. That was it till the Maryland game. We all remember a couple picks, the pick sixes against TCU last year in the semifinal game. Outside that, he, did, he threw hardly any interceptions. So he's game manager. He's athletic. We saw him have that key run last night. You see here, this was a pivotal part of the game where they needed to get out of the hole. It was a competitive game at that point, one score game. He needed to flip the field a little bit in terms of field position. He was able to do that. I, the kid is spunky. He's competitive. Uh, Jim, Jim Harbaugh raves about that aspect of, of his play. He can make the throws you need to make. Does he lock on? Does he see the field well enough? He kind of threw a couple balls last night. The one to Colston Loveland should have been caught was a key third down pass. The play to Cornelius Johnson hit him in stride, dropped. So he didn't get some help when he did throw the ball on a couple of occasions. And that scramble showed how he can move, how he can beat you with his legs, how he can create with his legs and beat you running the football as he did at various times at Michigan. So he's another tough evaluation because I, I would argue – I didn't see a game where he had to carry this team on his shoulders. And that, wow, yes, he's a defined first-round pick type of game we didn't have. So, yeah, I can see why you would look at him right now and say, best you could see for J.J. McCarthy, maybe second round. Mel, I can guarantee you one thing about J.J. McCarthy. There will be no consensus opinion on what he is. Because there are going to be people that need a quarterback in the first round that are going to say to themselves, this kid has terrific accuracy. His arm strength is fine. It's not spectacular, but it's not terrible. This is not a noodle arm. Competitiveness, and by the way, this applies to Michael Penix as well, off the charts. Both of these guys have great competitive spirits, and they're great leaders. That has been made very clear by both of their coaches during this entire process of this full season of college football. He's a very good athlete, as you noted, as well. But ultimately, there's going to be no consensus because there's not enough exposure. You mentioned how about this? Over the last six games of the season for, for Michigan, five of which I would say were massive games, Penn State, Ohio State, the Big Ten Championship against Iowa, who of course they crush, but still, it's the Big Ten Championship game, Alabama, last night Washington, and then that sixth game against Maryland. J.J. McCarthy in those six games, 857 passing yards, four touchdowns, one interception. That's like two games for Michael Penix Jr., right? I mean, I'm not saying that the style of play that Michigan plays is the same as somebody like Washington or LSU or USC, but 857 passing yards in six games tells you that J.J. McCarthy simply didn't have that many high-leverage reps that teams can say, that proves he can be a bona fide long-term starter in the NFL – it also doesn't mean that there's a bunch of plays where you say, eh, I'm not so sure about him. So I think that while J.J. McCarthy has a real shot to go in the first round because quarterbacks tend to rise up the boards, anybody who's telling you that unanimously the NFL feels this way about J.J. McCarthy, I think is lying directly to your face. I'm with you, Field, on that. I look back to Dak Prescott, great career at Mississippi State for Dan Mullen. He went in the fourth round. You know, when you look at Dak Prescott, he had plenty of wow moments in Mississippi State, right? Yeah. Uh, did J.J. McCarthy have those? No. So if how is Dak Prescott a fourth-round pick and J.J. McCarthy a first-round pick? Kirk Cousins at Michigan State had a lot of wow moments. He had some great games, right? He went in the fourth round, okay? So to me, if you look at those two, you say, boy, first round is a stretch. It's a reach uh, for J.J. McCarthy. And I thought going into last night, would we see that? Because you had Washington's defense, that wasn't a strength of their team. But yeah. the, also the defense of J.J. Here's a defense field. Yep. He didn't have the one area that Jim Harbaugh did not recruit big time, a big-time player was wide receiver. Yep. You didn't have anybody close to a Marvin Harrison Jr., or Chris Olave, or Garrett Wilson, and even a Mecca Abuka, okay? You didn't have any Romo Dunze, J uh, you know, Jalen Polk, you know, uh, Jalen McMillan. You, know, you didn't have those kind of guys. So you had Roman Wilson. You had Cornelius Johnson. You had a freshman, Samaj Morgan. You had Colson Loveland and A.J. Barner at tight end. So you didn't have those weapons at wide receiver to throw to, to be that go-to dynamic player. So I think that's a defense 
of J.J. McCarthy as to why they felt like, hey, we got to bludgeon people with our line that went about eight, nine deep and run the ball with Corum. And it seems like Donovan Edwards against Ohio State or in this game last night, you give him a crease, he's going to take it to the house. Okay, he's going to go. He didn't have a great year running the football, uh, you know, but he did last night when he gave him a little bit of an opening and he can go downhill and break the long gainer. So for J.J., you'd have liked to see him have that go-to guy. He didn't have it. He managed the game well. He did a lot of great things. He's competitive. But to say first round, have I seen enough? Have you seen enough? Have we all seen enough? I don't think so. Mel, I don't think he'll do this. I think J.J. McCarthy should return to Michigan for one more season. Truly, if, if, if the bottom line objective is to improve your draft stock, I think one more season at Michigan would really help J.J. McCarthy put himself more firmly in that first-round mix. I don't think he'll do it. I'm not saying it's a massive mistake if he declares. He still could very well go in the first round. But I think if J.J. McCarthy went back and had a dominant season again at Michigan next year, at least in terms of team success, we'd be talking about him in a different light because all he has done at Michigan is win. Just one loss with J.J. McCarthy as their starting quarterback. 